conjugated equine estrogens. Conjugated equine estrogens contain estrogen molecules conjugated to hydrophilic side groups for example sulfate and DA produced from the urine of pregnant equity horses mares. Premarin is the prime example of this, either alone or in Prempro, where it is combined with a synthetic progestin, medroxyprogesterone acetate. Women had been advised for many years by numerous doctors and drug company marketing efforts at least in the USA that hormone therapy with conjugated equine estrogens after menopause might reduce their risk of heart disease and prevent various aspects of aging. However, a large, randomized, control trial the Women's Health Initiative found that women undergoing height or HRT with conjugated equine estrogens premarin in combination with a synthetic progestin medroxypogesterone acetate premarin plus Provera, known as Primpro, had an increased risk of breast cancer and heart disease 40. An increase in breast cancer risk was not seen in the Women's Health Initiative a study of conjugate estrogen alone Primarin versus placebo, however this study was stopped prematurely as an increased risk of stroke was observed in women treated with Primarin. Although this increase in risk was small overall, it passed the thresholds that had been established by the researchers in advance as sufficient to ethically require stopping the study. When these results were first reported in 2002, the popular media sensationalized the story and exaggerated the risk, while the manufacturer continued to attempt to minimize the degree of risk. However most news stories fail to mention that the average age of the women in Y was 62 years old, significantly older than the time when most women start HRT, and in fact many years into post-menopause. In order to enroll in the study, patients had to be asymptomatic of hot flashes, so they would not know whether they received the placebo. For these reasons Y was not representative of generally accepted clinical practice. The 2002 and 2003 announcements of the Women's Health Initiative of the American National Institute of Health and the Million Women Study of the UK Cancer Research and National Health Service collaboration respectively, that HRT treatment coincides with an increased incidence of breast cancer, heart attacks and strokes, lead to a sharp decline in HRT prescription throughout the world, which was followed by a decrease in breast cancer incidence. On hearing the news about the Y study, many women discontinued equine estrogens altogether, with or without their doctor's knowledge. The number of prescriptions written for Premarin and Prempro in the United States dropped within a year almost to half of their previous level. This sharp drop in usage was followed by large and successively larger drops in new breast cancer diagnoses, at six months, one year and 18 months after the drop in Premarin and Prempro prescriptions, for a cumulative 15% drop by the end of 2003. However, the apparent meaning of this correlation is called into question by the fact that prescriptions of Prempro and Premarin fell dramatically in Canada as well, but no similarly dramatic drop in Canada's breast cancer rates was observed during the same time period. Studies designed to track the further progression of this trend after 2003 are underway, as well as studies designed to quantify how much of the drop was related to the reduced use of height-slash-HRT.